So now that you have your industry code and you know exactly what you're researching for your paper in terms of industrial research, let's start, to, let's start hitting some interesting library sources. And here is where I'm going to focus for the next while. Most, if not all, of the resources I'm going to mention are listed under the databases. Just this link costs us eh, roughly about $3 million, right? So this is your private internet for all of the data that is available through the libraries. This is the stuff we pay for that you can use for your paper, okay? So everything on this handout is available through the databases. So the first thing that I want you to do is to click on databases and then click on business management and marketing. The categories that you see here on the page fit with the categories on this handout, right? So 5.1 is business directories, and there it is. Think of them as phone books, okay? The next one down is industry and market research. So you have two sections here. You have firstly company and industry data, so that's the first part, and then you have market and consumer data. And then, last but not least, you also have uh, article databases, business article databases, which are right here. So, and then you have obviously some other stuff, like for example, dictionaries, and encyclopedias, and, and, and handbooks. And by the way, if you're using Wikipedia, I mentioned it before, but you may want to check out the ones that we have specifically for business because they're more precise, because they're, uh, they may be more on target with what you need. Maybe Wikipedia is good enough, but again, an encyclopedia is not the end of the research process, it's just the beginning. So if you're quoting just encyclopedias in your paper, you're not doing your work. So you have to go dig deeper and find articles and different things like that. But I'll talk about that in, in a second anyways. So the handout, the second page of the handout works with the library databases. So on the library homepage, you go to databases and all of the business management and marketing databases are here and the sections on the handout work with the sections from the website. It's kind of cool, right? Well, I built it that way. So, so the first thing uh, that you want to do once you know about your industry, so um, let's say I'm doing pet stores and the industry code is 45391. Um, and actually, let me do the pet store example. So what I would want to do is uh, go to, it's a retail trade operation, right? So I'm gonna go to the retail trade. And you know, I could look through the list or I could just do a quick control F or uh, file find or edit find. It's, what is it? It's find, so edit find, right? I could do a little control F and uh, do here pet and just, there we go. So I know the code. So I would do pet and click next and here I go. So I have pet and pet supply stores. My code is 45391. I write it down on the on the paper and I'm done, okay? I can of course always click through, look at the description, look at excluded things, look at example activities to give me some ideas. And hey, maybe I didn't think I could rent fish tanks, but I could. So that's an example of something that I could do for my pet store. So that's my uh, business research, my industry research that I wanna do. 45391 on my handout, here I go. So first I want to go to the business directories and the reason why you wanna do that is to find competitors, you wanna find market leaders, you wanna find suppliers. So think of your supply chain right, your competition, your clients, and your suppliers feeding up or down or across, depending on how you, you view it. But uh, so you want to find market leaders, competitors, suppliers, and clients, right? So you go to the business directories, and we have a few. Like, for example, you could use the Yellow Pages. The Yellow Pages is a business directory. It's a big book with lists of companies that are classified in industries, right? So the Yellow Pages, you go to the Yellow Pages website, you wanna find barbershops, you wanna find pet stores, chances are that it's actually a pretty good source for, for that kind of information. The Yellow Pages don't necessarily cover all industries very well, uh, so that's why we have these other systems that are either free from the government or from trade associations or that we actually pay a lot of money for that you can use, okay? So first example is this website called Canadian Company Capabilities. And this is actually from Industry Canada. It's one of their key resources. Well, I actually have a lot of interesting information. And you should check out the Industry Canada website because they just have lots of interesting information. But if you hit search, 
CCC, which is the Canadian Company Capabilities. You can go to the detailed search. I always go to the detailed search. I never just, I just go straight up. I want to see the options. And one thing that you could do is you could search by Nike's code, right? You can also search, and this is the cool part about this website, uh, you could look for if they export, right? Are they an exporter? So that's something cool that you can check out. You could search by number of employees. You could search by different certifications that they have and that kind of stuff. And the government knows because they know. They finance them, they have government programs, they have employees who are trained by the I mean, there's just a bunch of stuff happening and the government recycles all that information in the system so that you could do searches on it and use it in your paper. And by the way, if you're looking for a job in an industry, you would use these different company directories to find your future employer. Like you would use a trade association to become a member of that and try you know, to get engaged in that industry. Same thing here. So Canadian Company Capabilities is a free business directory online. And the cool thing is in the, in the advanced search, you can do a Nike's code search, right? And you generate lists of companies with certain characteristics. And that's useful for your papers, but also if you want to find a job. Another example that we have, let me head back to the clues, the library website listing for directories. Um, you have a different kinds up here. Uh, one that I'll go into is called Dun & Bradstreet's Million Dollar Database. And that's the first one listed on the handouts under uh, 5.1. And this one we pay for, okay? This is one that we pay for that is not on the free web. And Dun & Bradstreet, what they do, they do many things, but one of the things they do is you can call them up and say, I want all of the manufacturers in Southern Ontario with 50 employees or more, but not more than 500 employees. Who, and, and, and they'll sell you this list. They'll actually produce an Excel file and you can either use it once, use it for a year, or buy the rights for the file for the whole, for forever, for in perpetuity. And they charge you different prices for that. But what we have is the um, academic access. Like it's not as expensive as a company would pay. And I guess what they want is for you to get hooked on this stuff. And when you go off in the business world, then you know it exists, but that's fine. That's a good trade, right, for us and them. But in the interim, you can use it for your papers, and here's how I would do, use it in this case, like for my pet store example. So I'm gonna hit continue, and I wanna search for pet stores. I went to the yellow pages, I already have some leads. I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna go to the advanced search, I always go to the advanced search, and I go to the industry, and I can tell Dun & Bradstreet, hey, give me all of the companies with Nike's code that fall in the retail trade for pets. 45391. There you go. Pet and pet supply stores. So I select on the code, and obviously you could select on any code you want if you want a listing of companies. I select the code, and then I say at the bottom here, add to criteria. So right now what I have is Nike's code 45391, pet stores. Then I want to say, okay, I want Canadian or Quebec. Let's say Quebec, right? I've had problems with the Montreal because they, they, the accent aigu, the diacritic ca character doesn't transfer well in the interface and they're looking into that. But so I just use Quebec instead because I can select it from a drop down box. So if I do state and region, I could say for North America, and then Canada, Quebec, right? And then I say add to criteria. And so here I have pet stores in Quebec. Let's just run that. Oops. I could add things like number of employees and sales figures and all of that. But right now I know that there are, let's see here, 406 pet stores in Quebec, according to Dun & Bradstreet. Okay, um, and here's the list. I have the first, uh, I have 17 pages worth of it. So if you sort them, then you know by sales, for example, or number of employees, you know the bigger players, right? So what you will wanna do is those top 10, you know, those top 10 uh, companies in this industry in Quebec are probably the one, the names that you wanna, uh, that you wanna uh, survey a little bit more, right? From this page, I see here, GE Mondou in Montreal, headquarters, $31 million in sales, 50 employees. You know, looking from this list, this is probably a market leader. And if you're if you're from Montreal, you may have seen their their stores, you know, GE Mondou. So 
that's something, that's a company name that I, I can include in my report as a market leader. If you click on Giamondou, you get their company profile, right? You get their address, you get uh, some estimates for sales. And by the way, these are estimates. They're not the actual, unless they're publicly traded, they could take the actual, but they estimate it on the different variables that they have. Um, but you could still quote this as saying, according to Dun & Bradstreet, Giamondou has $31 million in sales, which is pretty cool. The other thing you, 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 will, you may want to do with these market leaders is take their names and when you're going to be doing article searches later on, you can plug that name into ProQuest or Business Source Complete or Factiva, the different article databases that we have, to look at what newspaper reporters and researchers have been saying about them. Because obviously, this company name, if you plug it into an article database, the results that you get, if they talk about this company, probably talk about pet stores in general in the city of Montreal or the province of Quebec, i.e., these articles are interesting for you i.e. the name of a company that's a market leader is a very interesting search word to use in the article databases. But I'll get to that later on. I just wanted to mention that now that I know there's a market leader here, um, I, can, I can use this information from this company directory. So the Dun & Bradstreet Million Dollar Database is a, is, is a business directory that we pay for. It's a very broad, very comprehensive, not they try to survey as much as they can from the industry. They may not necessarily have a good coverage for the field that you're in. You may have to use different strategies like looking at a trade association. If you can get a list of members of a trade association, that's another good way to get um, something that looks like a business directory. Uh, but anyways, the idea is that this helps you find the major players in the field and then you can use that as a basis for additional research. So you look up their website, you look up their press releases, you look at any kind of business information you can get from themselves, but also type that, the company name, into an article database. Now, I mean, there's tons of others here listed. Um, I have iCRIC on the handout, which is this one here. It's actually from the Quebec government, and it highlights uh, wholesalers and manufacturers. And by the way, uh, when you import and you distribute, you're classified as a wholesaler. That's that's just, just something you need to know. Uh, so this is a free website. You could check it out. The, you could do searches on industry code, obviously, but also on products, different type of, types of products. So if you're looking for somebody that makes, I don't know, shoes in Quebec, well, you could look up an iCRIC or Dun & Bradstreet Million Dollar Database. I mean, they, they have different coverage. You may want to check both. It really depends on what you want and which is better for you. So I advise you to try a, a few different ones. Uh, but we just have here this kind of list of different sources that, that provide uh, lists of companies, business directories, and you can check it out. So that's the first step is you get your, your major competitors, your market leaders, your suppliers and clients potentially for the industry that you're interested in. And as I showed you, you use the industry code for that. So that's, that's the first step is finding the market leaders.